Dear audience, in this presentation, we shall give you our results, the results of our group obtained through metabolic uh, chemotherapy of two important groups of diseases, pancreatic cancer and cancer of the lungs. We start with pancreatic cancer. Um, I shall give you the result we obtained through an article we published recently. This is the name of the article as it is published in the pancreatic journal. And the article itself is here. This, here you see the article we published. So this is something already propagated to all medical professions. In this table, we compare our patients' demographic treatment, surgery, and survival status. Our patients. And we have 33 patients and uh, these, most of them are stage four patients and they have been treated either with uh, forfirinox or gemcitabine followed by forfirinox and here is our results in this table. The usual orthodox treatment of pancreatic cancer is gemcitabine, which gives a median survival of six months. Then forfirinox has been added, has been uh, shown to increase the survival to 11 months forfirinox. And MSCT is our treatment, metabolically adjusted chemotherapy and you see that it is 19 plus 5 months. So there is an, uh, the survival wise, there is an increase or at least of double of forfirinox, which is the best treatment proposed by medical uh, oncology. And uh, in the second row, you see one year survival rates of gemcitabine, which is 20%, of forfirinox, which is 48%, and of MSCT, our metabolic treatment, which is 82%. So you see how significant it is when, when some metabolic uh, measures uh, are added to standard chemotherapy. The second group that I shall present to you is our results with uh, cancer of the lung. Uh, we, here we include the uh, the patients with uh, non-small cell lung cancer, and this also has been prepared as an article, and it has been sent. So it will be in a short while published as an article. This is the name of the article. And here, here we offer you our results compared with literature results. You see there are seven columns, vertical columns. The first column, vertical column, is our results. And the other six columns are uh, different groups' treatment results. Uh, in our series, we have 44 cases. Of course, this may look rather small group, but if you think that it is also the only the results of one center only, uh, I think it can be accepted. And 44 is a number that uh, you can give statistical calculation and results. You see, uh, most of our patients, all of our patients are 100% uh, stage 4. The other groups, it varies. Uh, usually they are stage three or say four. 
uh, our results most of them have uh, brain metastasis like 40 percent uh, this is highest when compared with other groups that means that our patients were prognostically in a, a worse condition in the last lower column you see the overall survival results given in months our patients overall survival was 43 months and you see that all other groups have very small survival months 6 months 11 9 8 8 8 so uh, when you you can see that metabolic treatment associated with chemotherapy gives much better results i thank you for our for your attention